It's July 1941, and four million German troops have just invaded the Soviet Union, despite Germany and Russia having previously agreed a non-aggression pact. What? 1941 to 45. Ideological differences between East and West. The recent invasion of fascist Germany into the Soviet Union means that Russia has now joined the war, World War II for anyone wondering, and has fallen on the same side as the Allies. An alliance known as the Grand Alliance between the Soviet Union, the USA, and Britain is formed, with their leaders collectively being known as the Big Three. The alliance meets three times during the war, in Tehran in 1943, Yalta in February 1945, and in Potsdam in July 1945. This, however, presents some problems, some problems which become ever more apparent as the war comes to a close. The problem here is that Soviet Russia has a very different political ideology to the close allies of Britain and the USA. Britain and the USA are capitalist, meaning that they support being able to privately own property. Property not being houses, but the things that people use to make the things that people need to live, such as factories or farms. And for people to be able to profit from this. The Soviet Union, however, is communist, meaning, well, this is a little bit more complicated to explain, because communism is essentially an end goal of a classless, moneyless, stateless society. And lots of people have had lots of different ideas about how to get there, and so the word communist is often used to describe many very different things. For instance, there are many people who identify as communist, but strongly oppose the Soviet Union and everything it stood for. It's a really big rabbit hole, essentially, and hotly debated. So let's put it this way. The Soviet Union is a dictatorship where everything is owned by the state, and they really hate capitalism there. So you can see how this might cause some issues. Roosevelt, the current US president, and Churchill, the British Prime Minister, are both deeply suspicious of Stalin, the leader of the Soviet Union. And this plays a major role in shaping world relations from 1941. The difference in their personal political beliefs furthers this breakdown of relations as the war draws to a close. Moreover, during the 1930s, both the USA and Britain had been very critical of the methods used to industrialise Russia, as these had come at great human expense. The only real thing that holds the alliance together is their shared opposition to fascism, and this means that it becomes impossible to agree on how post-war Europe should be governed. The alliance hadn't made any real change in how the countries viewed one another. The Second World War had also brought around a significant shift in world politics, with old powers like Britain and France becoming less important, and two new superpowers emerging, the USA and the Soviet Union. The USA and Britain remained suspicious of the Soviet Union, and Stalin realises that the West don't want to take steps that will make Russia stronger in the long run. 1941-45, to 45, Ideological Differences Between East and West Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell all your friends. I've finally got round to covering the Cold War after being asked for like two years to cover it. Also would be appreciated if you could help me out on Patreon, if you're able to, if you think I should get paid for my work, as I am now having to pay for my own food because I'm at university. If you can't afford any of that, don't worry, you're still welcome here. You can find a link to my Patreon in the description in the corner, probably on screen as well. Or go to patreon.com forward slash a long long time ago. We're Seth, yay, Harla.